Hey guys, I'm doing this little intro video here because there was this big RP segment that happened but sadly the audio got a bit messed up in it so I had to scrap it. But it then leads on to an event which you'll see after this. But this will be nice and quick but um, basically the bit I had to scrap was a quite a long conversation happened between me and a person called Vespa, which I don't think I've shown on the videos yet, but Vespa's played is, is being played as by the same person who played Brywin in season one and the Night's Watch. So like me and her character have like a bit of a friendship going on because like she believes in Lord of Light and things like that. But she asks like my character a lot of questions and stuff like that. So we had like this really long conversation about her asking about Lord of Light and things like that and about her friend who's gonna have a ritual with another red priest and she was invited to it but she's like unsure about his safety so she was asking me questions about that and things like that and then she then tells me when the ritual is going to be and where and then that's what that's what you'll be seeing after this is that the ritual is going to be happening so it's, it's really uh, it's really sad i had to scrap this it really annoyed me actually because it's good conversation between me and her with the lord of light and things like that but anyway enough of me talking that's basically all that happened. Just like a 20 minute conversation. But yeah, let's go straight to the ritual that happens later on after that conversation. Alright, so I'm over at this ritual here. I don't think there's many people there. Luckily, I've got this bush right here that I can hide behind. No, it looks like it's just them too. I know that the guy at Joseph, he like invited a bunch of people to be there. Obviously no one's there. It looks like they're probably getting started though. Could have made it a bit nicer than using campfires, like using braziers or something. I don't know who's that there. Lillian. See, my character, like, he doesn't know these red priests. And... He doesn't view red priests who aren't from a shire as, like, true red priests, like he is. Well, no, I'm not a priest at the moment, but I do plan on being a priest. Eventually. Like, I'm gonna, my character's going to go back to his old ways of being a priest. So, because my character was brought up in the Shire with like the where the red priests like truly are, you know, there's magic there, there's all that dark stuff. My character doesn't really view these guys as true red priests because they don't know the old magics and stuff like that. Unlike my guy does. And as like Fesbo was saying like he this guy seems to care more about him, the fact that he's all red and shit like that. Then be an actual priest or a sprite star. I think it looks stupid when they're fully red, especially that like it just looks a bit uh, silly with like full red clothing. I don't like it, especially the way that he's dyed the mask red as well. Like I don't know. That's my opinion though. Better hurry this along. Don't know how long this is actually gonna take. I think I'm pretty well hidden up here. Like I'm pretty far away from them. I just look like a black dot on the on the horizon. Yeah, he could have made it a bit look a bit nicer. Perhaps you could use like the actual fire braziers or fire pits or whatever they're called. The metal ones rather than just using campfires. 
but that's fine. I'll put a bit more effort into this, but... Okay, so someone else is showing up now. And it looks like they're going to get ready, perhaps? So yeah, I, I wish I could go, get closer and listen to what I saying for you guys, but when he turns his head like that, it looks straight at me. I feel like super creepy. Okay, so it looks like he started lighting, lighting the fires. Yeah. God, just burning alive. Certainly taking his time. Oh, there we go, he was killed. Now, I don't know what he's actually doing, because like, this whole ritual, out of character knowledge, that was him that like putting himself in a younger body and forgetting his memories so I'm guessing he's gonna make, be making a new character like him, just the younger self well, I think that was it Unless he makes his new character super quick, runs here and pretends that he came out of the fire again. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'll just stuck around watching for a little bit and one of them left, so I'm guessing that is just the whole ritual. I think them two are talking, I can see her mouth moving slightly, I think. Or it could just be like the textures from the distance that I'm looking at. But I think she's talking, so I think them two are just talking. And his body's just sitting there, roasting up. Yeah, and now she's going. Okay, I think that was it. Okay, well, I guess... Whenever I see Vespa next, I'll be speaking to her about it. Then we'll carry on there. I'm here. Under suspicion of dealing with Silverlock, you will be taken in... ...for... Questioning. This is ridiculous. And that's why you have to bowl an old man. Uh, Just are, are a you moment. serious? Yes. It's as if I wouldn't go on my own, my free will. Uh, uh, have you lost your mind? It's just a precaution. That's why I didn't. A uh, precaution? Because uh, 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 an old man Shut can up, run away, man. or what, Tarek? We're arresting the Meister, just a moment, Albert. Please. Why? Latus' uh, pig is still here. Can you, uh, proceed mm. to the dungeons, please? Uh, of course I can. What is going on here? What is going on, Lady? I apologize that's why I bowled you. 
I have no idea. It's getting ridiculous. I'm so mad right now. Where's the king? Curious why he was witness to overlock what he has to say. Uh, so, what is going on here? Why, why are the knights bullying me? Uh, uh, has everyone lost his mind now? Mr. Bjorn. Oh, please. Our history goes uh, quite far together. We, uh, we've been good friends, we've been helping each other out, but... Uh, I'm wondering... Uh, I'm wondering... What is your uh, what is your behalf on the conversation you had with Silverlock? I wanted to bring him to the keep in here, uh, that we can catch him. Did you got any orders by someone to do this? Uh, not at all. Because I saw you. Uh, I saw you leaving with him on a boat, and I've heard your voice, I recognized it, so does his voice sounds quite familiar, and I, I was wondering what you, uh, what you spoke about uh, with him on that boat. Uh, I wanted to set up a plan. And what is this plan? Uh, the plan was about uh, that I trap him between the doors, and that the guards can take care of him. You did not a couple of days ago, this to me. The first time. Or myself. Uh, uh, a couple of days ago, I had the first time uh, contact with him by leaving him a letter in the mailbox. Uh, well, my king, uh, we didn't have a lot of time to catch up lately. Indeed, but I asked you earlier today if there was anything else you could have filled me in on this information earlier. Uh, well, I didn't want to make everyone uh, like running around like a weasel. Uh, I got another question. Have... Uh, please. So, the Silverlock does he know you are part of King's Landing? Uh, he knows uh, I'm the hand of the king, and I told I told him uh, uh, to gain my trust. I uh, gave him fifty gold coins and told him a totally different story. And is there anything else you wanna share with us? Any, any anything he said to you to do, or anything uh, that is behind uh, behind other ears? Uh, nothing at all. We had no plan set up, so no. Because this Silverlock seems to uh, like to uh, talk his plans into everybody's ears. He uh, get gold from. Nice oh uh, well. Why would you prevent me from? Or at least try and prevent me from hunting down his men. Uh, I didn't prevent you, uh, Sir Gren. If you remember our conversation, all I said is uh, that you have to go to the king and ask for permission to leave. And I even said this to the king today. So, if I'm correct and you made a deal with him or you tried to trap him is what you're saying. When you came back here, did you get the attention of the king of any of the king's guard to mention this? Or did you just do, uh, no. do whatever when, you want? Uh, when I uh, when I came back, I did your night. Uh, that's what I did. Cause he came here uh, bleeding, uh, and screaming around that he got hit by a cannon, and the first thing I did, I uh, brought him to the master's tower, and I started to aid him by brewing a healing brew. Well, when I entered the keep, you were talking to Lady Ella. Uh, said it again. You were talking to Lady Ella over. when I came in. The uh, yes, I uh, asked her if she is alright. Uh, that's my damn right. I take care of her since years. Hmm. Okay, so this is sort of following up on last time, like, or before when Silverlock was meant to attack no King's Landing. Uh, this is. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, and uh, very honest, he did. So the, the king went the, and uh, spoke king. to Silverlock on the bridge outside King's yeah. Landing, but it ended with Silverlock Would getting like wounded and falling off the bridge, Solely and getting rescued by his own men and carried away. And now he's trying to like sort of carry out his plans again with trying to kill the king. Now. And 
the maester here, Handley King, has been, he's been acting a bit shady all day, like not to, ignoring people and not talking to people. And now David, Lord Davis here, Tyrell, has uh, obviously seen Bjorn with Silverlock. Sending these type of letters, and if what you say is true, and you wish to get him into this keep so we can kill him, then that is what will happen. I will not be left yeah, unguarded uh, again, uh, of, uh, ever. Uh, of course it will enough, happen. Enough, enough, let me speak. I will be not left unguarded by anyone. The agents that I have out there were all going to come to this keep. And if you warn him, you will know, and you will be hunted down. It is in your best interest uh, to make course. sure this plan goes unhinged, so he is led into a trap. And his men with him, and he will be greatly outnumbered, and he and his men will be killed. And that will be the end of it. Uh, well, uh, I do hope so. But from here on out, you will make sure myself and Sir Cran are briefed so we may prepare in time. And Lord Davis, uh, uh, your men. It's only in my best here. interest. I, I understand that, Mr. Baron, but the secrecy does not do this situation any justice. Sir Cran, your men will have to be prepared at a moment's notice. Sir David, uh, Lord Davis, your men will have to be prepared, and this information cannot leave this room. If, I, if it is found out that it is, then it will be grave grave situation for all of us. Do you require us to come with uh, our settled mounts, or are the stags more than enough? Um, I'm sure the stags will be quite... The stags special. are pretty powerful. The of stuff that we have in the stables They're down. really powerful stags. Like the bleed damage believe, they do uh, is uh, nuts. I do believe we have around seven men awake right now. And they hurt a lot of stags, really they do a lot of damage. Against people. I don't believe that Richard is quick. awake. I've not seen if him, but I will call up on speed. him if he does. If he, he is might awake, be, ask uh, him to uh, ask him to get the hunters. He knows what it means. All right. Just ask him to get the hunters. It could be that he is on his mission, so I'll see if All he's right. uh, if he's back, and I'll ask my people if they saw him or if he said anything where he went. I have Very a good. crazy idea. Speak. With a couple people seeing what happened, if you pretended to be on the run from the king, wouldn't that gain him more trust with Silverlock to get him into the castle? Uh, I will do everything what my uh, loyalty will show to the king. Yeah, I don't trust Bjorn. Uh, uh, this decision is not in my hand. I don't trust no, him at all. I don't believe so, Terry. I think okay, it was, it was I think just that, an idea. Um, yeah, I, I understand what you want to achieve with it, but I believe that that will raise more suspicion. The, yes, so luck should be under the impression that nothing has occurred. Okay. Am I right? I believe you're right, yes. in that, Sir Grand. And Tarek, uh, if you ever pull on me again, I'm gonna slap some mind in your face. I can I'll slap him myself, Meister. I'll slap him myself. Well, I bullied you because I didn't want you to run anybody else. I would have knocked out in hand. Oh, you please, I'm um, fucking 80 years like, old. How, how should I run away? Uh, don't I've, get ridiculous. I've learned not to underestimate little children or old men. And it served me well. Uh, Mr. Bjorn, it is upon you to make sure this happens. I'm not wearing my Kingsguard armor now any, either because this is my I personal know. armor, which is a lot well, better. Of course, I will put my, my good stuff on. Yeah, you, your loyalty is not in question. You and also, I don't want people to see my face. So this is my this this outfit. Hardly anyone seen me with. So no one knows who I am in this outfit. I think Cran's gonna speak to me about something soon. Uh, are we done here now? Indeed. Well, 
Lord, Lord Davis, if you were to return, I must be under cover at night. I shall make uh, sure everybody is prepared to leave for uh, any uh, any problems the and right. be equipped with the best possible. With me. I assume you understand that you just need to be ready to either ride at a moment's notice or stand and fight at a moment's notice. And ever since I got in trouble that one time, I have been. Very good, very good. Well, if any other, that would be that would be Sal, would it not? If he awakens. I mean, I'm ready. I haven't seen Sal awake. We've got fire day. arrows, little grapples if I need to make an escape. No, no, I'm fully no. ready. I'm That's fully armed. Well, Tarek, you're on the king. No, wait. Sahindra, you're on the king. Tarek, you're on the lady Ella. Or is she kept within the key? My king. Uh, Lady Ella, is she, uh, is she in here in her chambers? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to check on it now.